Israel's vaccination rollout started back in December and has since led the world's efforts, with two million citizens now having received the first of the two required injections of the Pfizer-BioNTech jab. In exchange for the vaccine, Israel will be sending Pfizer data about the inoculations, including side effects, development of antibodies and overall vaccine effectiveness. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is confident all citizens of Israel over the age of 16 will be vaccinated by the end of March. This fits in perfectly with the coming elections that have been scheduled for the same month, leading some to criticise the Prime Minister of using the programme for political gains. New coronavirus cases, however, have continued to rise and the country is now under its third strict lockdown. We are facing a growing number of people that are being infected with corona, but at the same time, we are blocking the infection rate, we are blocking the disease with the vaccines. The current vaccination target is to administer 170,000 shots a day. And with more than 300 drive through vaccination centres and clinics already operating, Israel's health system has proven it is well-equipped and positioned to deliver. The huge challenge is to bring all the people over, but uh, we are going also to uh, like uh, elderly house and hostel and we go with our staff to them to reach all the population and, the, and to do everything in the shortest time, of, in the short, shortest period possible. There is a real sense of pride amongst healthcare staff that the pandemic could be coming to an end. The truth is that the healthcare system was prepared they had uh, a standard operating procedures. It was exercised for many, many years. There were large-scale uh, drills in which all the different uh, um, components of the healthcare system participated. The problem was that once the pandemic started, no one looked at these standard operating procedures, and they started from scratch, as if everything that had been prepared before was not relevant. Israelis in general are open to the vaccine, although there are, of course, sceptics among all sections of the population. I'm still thinking about it because, I don't know, I want to see, I want to check what's going on with the people <laughs> and then I build my confidence about it. Yes, I'm going to do the vaccine. Uh, I think it's very good. We are waiting to open the business, the world. I'm still not uh, going uh, to, to get vaccinated, but uh, in the future I will because... Uh, that's what uh, the scientists uh, say is, uh, is, is uh, right. There was a concern that many of the ultra-religious would refuse the vaccine. But recently, Israel's prominent rabbis have urged members of their communities to take it. And so far, their messages have been well received. The world will continue to watch Israel as they strive to be the first country to complete their vaccination programme. And as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said, not only will this prove that it can be done, but by sharing the statistical data, it will help in the global effort to fight this deadly virus. Alison Gosney, CNA, Northern Israel.